Shawnee. Da, 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 da. All right, should we have a go at this? Yeah. Is this the fastest way to make a beer bottle inside Cinema 4D? It's got to be close. Hey guys, I'm Sean Dove, and we're going to look at creating a great versatile asset in just a few simple steps. New to Cinema 4D? This one's for you. All right, let's get into this. So the first thing we need to do is find a reference shot. I'll pop a link down below for where I got mine, but any bottle will work and any cylindrical shape will work for this. But uh, let's focus on the beer bottle. So you can see for this, we just need to draw half of our bottle. Um, so I'm gonna pull in some guides from our rulers on the edge there. Uh, if you can't see yours, Command R will reveal them. I'm also pulling one down from the top. Um, this is because we don't need any of that perspective uh, in our spline. So pull that down, we get a nice flat top and we'll use that to start building out our spline. And from here, I just start tracing out the edge of the bottle there. And then we're gonna do the same thing when we get to the bottom. We don't need any of that perspective. So we'll pull another guide down and we'll, we'll, uh, we'll have a look at that. So in this tutorial, I'm not gonna go over any texturing or lighting. I'm just gonna show you how we can quickly take this spline, get it into cinema and get create a great asset real quick and uh, perfect for branding purposes. We're also gonna make it quite, quite low poly, easy to use. And uh, so for animation, this is gonna uh, is gonna work nicely as well. All right, let's fast forward this a bit. And we'll take this path into, uh, into cinema and really have some fun. So once I've got my spline, you can see here we've got this nice half drawing of the, the beer bottle there. So now I can go file, export, and we can export this path to Illustrator. Now, we could have done this in Illustrator as well. Um, for me, it's just personal preference to work in Photoshop. However, do note if you are going to build this in Illustrator first, make sure you save it out as an Illustrator 8 file. All right, nice. Let's, uh, let's jump into our cinema. Right, I'm just going to dive in. We're going to um, we're going to pick up that spline that we've just made from Photoshop, and we're going to just drag it and drop it straight into the interface there. And you can see there's our half drawing. Now that won't render at the moment. It is purely a path. So first things first, I will zero it out on position. Toggle into my four views here, and you can see I'm just pulling it over on X, just so we're meeting that perfect Y axis. Let's see, I'll zoom in a little bit and slide it over just that little bit more. The, the reason for aligning it with that center Y axis is because we're gonna be doing a modeling technique using the lathe nerve. And the lathe nerve will create a cylindrical geometry based on any spline you feed it. And have a look at that. We've already got a great looking asset. Real quick, you know, two steps, draw half the spline, drop it into that bad boy. Now there are a few more things we can do to clean this up. You can see at the, at the moment it's closing in at the top. So let's uh, let's fix that. I just toggle my lathe off and uh, using the point selection, I grab that um, point that was on the middle axis. Uh, I realize probably don't need that. Delete it. Um, and you can even just toggle that little one a bit more. So uh, this is looking pretty good. And you notice at the start, we didn't worry about glass has a thickness. So I'm to, to combat that really quickly, let's grab the lathe, lathe nerve, drop it into our cloth surface, give it some thickness, and look at that. We've got a pretty decent looking beer bottle. And we can increase our subdivisions to get it a bit more smoother, a bit, bit sexier. Yeah, that's looking good. All right, let's pull out. And for me, I'm, I'm, uh, I'm a sucker for some even, even, uh, even polys, some nice geometry. So we can see it's a bit stretched down at the base of the bottle. So um, we, can, we can fix that. We'll just dive into our spline and subdivide it. And look at that. That looks good. Now, we could stop there. That's a great looking beer bottle. But if we're going to be using this for branding purposes or anything like that, typically we're, we're, we're going to need some labels. So, uh, so let's have a look at that. Let's, uh, let's name this properly. We've got our beer bottle here. Now, first up, let's just go a real simple square label. Now to do that, let's just grab a circle spline. 
And because we're already on zero, we can just scale that down to where the exact same size as our bottle. And now using our front view, I'll just pull that up to about midway. All right, nice. So what do we need next? Let's grab ourselves a plane. And this is gonna form the basis of our label. Let's just give it a plus Z orientation so it's facing us. Grab that, we'll pull it up. We'll uh, scale it down a little bit. And for this, we're gonna be using one of my favorite tools. So let's go up into our deformers, but holding that down and grab the spline wrap. Now let's pull this beneath our plane. And for this, I need to group my plane twice. And I'm gonna do that by holding Alt G and then pressing Alt G again. And you can see when I open that up, we've got two nulls there. Drop our spline wrap into that hierarchy beneath that null. And we'll call that null our plane wrap because inside that, it has our plane. Now we can go into our spline wrap and give it that circle spline as a reference of what to stick to. And now I can go into the spline wrap and say mode keep length, and that'll keep the dimensions that we've set on the plane itself. We can't quite see it at the moment, and that's probably because it's not facing us. Yeah, that's the case. All right, so I can grab my circle and I can just rotate it using that X axis bar. Let's throw a texture on it. Let's make it a bit easier to see. Boom, have a look at that. Let's we'll rotate that around. And we can see it. we've created really simply a great looking label and it's allowed us to use that plane, throw it on there. And just as we threw that texture on, we can create custom textures based onto the, um, the, the design we, we wanna do. Now we're gonna do the same thing here. We're just gonna give it a little bit of thickness, turn those subdivisions off, just to accentuate the, um, the label itself. We're probably going a bit too far here, but um, look, I just like to uh, make it a bit more obvious of what we're actually doing. And I'll increase those subdivisions as well. Um, oh look, let's just go 200, 200, and that'll give us some nice, nice even geometry as well. Toggle back to my camera, and uh, that's, that's looking pretty good. That's a good start. Um, and you can see how quickly we can just because all, all this is still live. So now we can just go in and, and play with our height and width and really get a custom look based on our design that we want to achieve. Now with something like this, we typically would have a label at the top as well. Um, so let's just have a look at how we're going to go about that. Now, let's just uh, tidy that up a bit. So that's, that's going to be our base label. That's our square label. And to achieve the top label, we're actually going to use what we've already set up with the beer bottle. So let's just duplicate that layer and we'll toggle the other ones off. We don't need to see them right now. Now this beer bottle, let's grab our spline and we just need to solo out that top section. So I'll grab the points of my spline, toggle off the lathe nerve just to make it a bit easier to see. Now if I hold down, you can see I'm giving the rectangle selection. Select all that base and delete. Oh, bottom one, grab it. There we go, delete. Toggle out. If I hit S in my viewport, while I've got something selected, it'll snap it to view. And now I just need to get rid of those top view as well. Beautiful. And if I toggle my lathe nerve back on, now that we've got that, just that little bit of curve, we can see we've got a nice looking top there. Um, so I grab my beer bottle. Uh, no, we don't need to do that. We've already got it in a cloth nerve. So now you can see if I go into a negative on my thickness, it'll extrude it the opposite way to how we've given our beer bottles some uh, thickness. Now we can just toggle on the beer bottle again. And that's probably probably not quite right. I would have rather a little bit further. Um, look, we haven't gone too far. Let's just undo a couple of steps there. And on our spline this time, rather than deleting all those base points, we're just gonna leave one extra. So you can see, again, got my rectangle selection, grabbing all the way to that, leaving that base point, perfect. And again, we can just delete those top three, delete, turn our lathe nerve on, grab our cloth nerve, go negative on the thickness. We can toggle our layers back on and look at that. We've, uh, we've got a decent looking bottle. Now we can do a bit further adjustments. Like I don't want that right hugging against the, um, the rim of the, uh, the bottle there. So I'm just gonna pull that down a bit. Just gives a bit more breathing room. Might even do the same with the base. We'll just Make sure you grab that last point, and I'm just gonna pull that up. Making sure you're just using your Y and X axis in this case. We can even pull that in a little bit just to, just so it comes back into the bottle. And that's looking pretty good. Now the other cool thing is, 
with the lathe nerb, you can play around with the angle. So perhaps you don't want this to wrap all the way around. You can see now by adjusting the lathe's angle, we can uh, we can stop it from connecting at the back. And so this would allow us to, to do some cool things. Maybe you just want a strip label at the front, something like that. We can uh, we can achieve that. All right, so let's let's have a look at this. This is uh this is looking pretty good. Um, all right, let's uh, let's have a bit of a play with this angle. So you can see we can really really make it tight, which could be kind of cool. In this case, I'm just I'm just going to leave it fully closed. Let's just let's just leave it a complete wrap of a of the bottle. Toggle back to my camera, and that's looking that's looking good. We've got ourselves a top label. We've got ourselves a nice square base label, and that's you know you could create some custom textures, throw them on, and um, we'd, we'd be looking good. The last thing I want to look at is is a bit more of a the oval label is what I'm going to be calling it, or in what in this case we'll be using a disc. So I'm just going to hide my um oh, maybe I'm not yeah I'm just going to hide that for now. Grab ourselves a disc, and uh, we're going to do we're going to treat this the same way we did that plane. Um, drop it in there. No, that's not going to work. All right, let's undo that. Let's go back color step. Start again. Let's grab our disc. Grab the disc. We're going to make it plus Z, just as we did with the plane. Pull it up a bit so it's center of the bottle there. And I'll drop that straight into the cloth nerb we already have. Um, I can, um, I don't want to delete the plane because we've um, quite like how we've got that set up, but I'll just spin my um, circle around again, just so I can center that disc for us. You know, what I might actually do, I'm going to duplicate this setup we've got. I'll, um, I'll call this top one, that's going to be our plane label. That'll allow me delete that disc and we've got that there. That's all. That's all set. I'll toggle that off. We don't need that right now. We're just going to focus on this next one. I'll make this completely available as well. You guys can download this, pick it apart, and 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 see how see how it all comes together. Simply, we can rotate that, and we've got ourselves a decent looking uh, disc there. Now, the other cool thing is we can make that disc editable by hitting C, and now by pulling on the Z axis or the Y axis, I can create a, a, a unique shape to my bottle. Um, again, this is all just tweaking now, getting something that we're happy with and, and something that we're gonna be, be able to use. And there we have it, real quick, real simple. And we can create something quite unique with this technique. We've even made some label bases for us to throw our custom designs on. And I think that's a lot of fun. All right, thanks guys for watching. I'll see you next time.